if I talk to people about my region, my area, I always mention the trestle. The Rochford trestle was built by the Canadian Northern Railroad. It's about 2,400 feet long, almost half a mile, 222,000 board feet of lumber, over 11,000 pounds of iron, and it stands about 110 feet above the water level of the Paddle River. A hundred years ago, this would have been an engineering marvel. The span that it covers, those things were dreams. That would have been like building the Hoover Dam back in those days, you know? It just, it's, it's hard to imagine how difficult it would have been. Well, it once was the longest wooden bridge in Canada, railway bridge in Canada. One of the big highlights was people went to meet the train because the uh, mail was coming in. Oh, we are in the Rochford Bridge Pioneer Museum at Rochford Bridge on Highway 43. Rochford was the name of a settler who came here in the early 1900s. His first name was Cowper, but when they applied to have the village named, the government said it would be too confusing because it was similar to Rockyford in southern Alberta. So they just threw in bridge <laughs> and it became Rochford Bridge. It's used like any other railroad. It is still in heavy use. Lumber, gravel, minerals, chemicals, everything. The shame about it is that not enough people know about it. It's a spectacle in this area, and it's, it, it's something that I think a lot of people in the area, I think we take it for granted, because we see it all the time, right? But for me, this is something we can hang our hat on.